Hi folks, Alex Klingelhaver here with Exential Wealth Advisors. It is 9.05 here in the middle part of the country on Friday. Happy Friday to you, November 5th, 2021. Here's your morning jog around the economic headlines of the world. We start off with jobs. We start here in the U.S. Another good jobs number. More than 500,000 jobs added in October and and an upwards revision of August and September by about a quarter of a million jobs. That's 750,000 new jobs that we didn't know about over the past three months. That is a big deal. This is really one of the best economic times I can remember as a professional investor. Remember, before COVID, that seems like a lifetime ago, companies were making a lot of money because of financialization, right? They were borrowing at low rates, they were buying back stock, really good balance sheet activity, but not spending on CapEx, not investing in people, not growing their organic businesses. Flip over to post-COVID activity now, right? COVID's really over, and we'll talk about that here in a second. Companies are growing organically. They are investing in people. Wages are going up. These are all really good things. Remember, the economy is a fancy name for folks trading services with one another. Money is how we keep count of the value of those services and goods to each other. And that net value is climbing. That's why we see the market hitting all-time highs. Oil goes up a little bit here after being down this week. As it is stabilizing after OPEC says, they are just going to produce that 400,000 barrels more each month in this case, in December, of course, the Biden administration being very, very aggressive on oil companies. We'll see if they continue to release some additional strategic petroleum reserves. To me, those are really for strategic purposes, right? Wartime reserves not to be used to influence the market, although presidents sort of, you know, get their hands stuck in the cookie jar because, hey, no one likes 4 and $5 gas prices on the coast, especially with an election year coming up here in just a few months. Last but not least, let's send you off to the weekend with some excellent news. We talked about the pandemic really being over yesterday. Merck, we talked about their drug being approved in the UK. Now Pfizer says it has a COVID treatment. A new drug combined with HIV treatment reduces hospitalization and death by 89%. 89%, that is a tremendous number. So we have vaccines. We have treatments, we have large amounts of folks that have gotten COVID and have some sort of natural immunity. On a go forward basis, COVID is not a rational reason to fear economic growth, to be investing. You cannot be scared of COVID anymore. It's just not a realistic factor to be investing and to be scared of additional policies that will mitigate economic returns. It's over from a economic perspective. If you want some additional information throughout the weekend, feel free to follow me. As always, I am on Twitter. The handle is OKCCFACFP. Until then, I hope you have a very good weekend. I'm out.